tell here is using message queue, an enterprise should look at creating a messaging backbone. And when we say backbone, we are essentially saying <laughs> the points which have to talk to each other should be connected on WebSphere message queue. What that does is it rids you of the responsibility of writing the code to take care of connectivity. That, that level of service is guaranteed. The, the moment you have message queue in your environment, you get that out of the box. You don't spend time, effort uh, coding that, maintaining that. And uh, there is a you know, the industry expertise, which is at your disposal, because this product is being used by thousands of our customers very successfully. So the chart number 12 uh, shows you the different quality of service, which message queue guarantees. And as you can see in the graphic there, uh, we have you know, different kind of endpoints we could connect to, like sensors, mobile services, files, applications, and many others. So you know, to, to simplify things a little, uh, then just if you need a one-liner on MQ, MQ can be thought of as a you know a mail service or a email service for SOA application. So when uh, when one service when one one SOA application needs to communicate to another SOA application, this could be the channel which you use use to do that. Um, I'm on chart number thirteen now. As, as I as I said that we could connect to nearly everything. It's like um, IBM is looking at evolving message queue as a universal messaging backbone and we see new endpoints being added to it. Now the base message queue, the, the basic uh, simple message queue is uh, you know to, to enable this uh, basic messaging feature which I talked about but we are adding newer features to it and chart number 30 shows you the different kind of features which are available like we have a file transfer uh, capability what that lets you do is uh, we have a lot of businesses which which uh, you know are transferring data uh, using a FT, F, uh, file transfer protocol FTP like for instance if you have to um, order some items with your supplier you could be sending an excel sheet at the end of the day or end of the week or whatever is the process which contains the list of items and the order quantity uh, we have a lot of cases where banks have corporate customers and they sell like corporate customers could be like these companies who all their employees have the accounts there and at the end of the month uh, the companies or the corporate customers send a list of debits or the salary transfers which have to happen to the employee account. So all this is happening in form of files and if you are using FTP to transfer these files there is absolutely no visibility. You don't know how much of it has been transferred, what has failed, uh, how much of it is duplicated. So if file transfer is what you are doing, MQ has a capability which lets you do that and even you know monitor the complete movement of files in your whole infrastructure. Then we have uh, messaging security which is an add-on feature which lets you protect messages not only while they are moving through MQ because that is there in any case. Any data that moves through MQ is encrypted. It also lets you, if you add this feature on, it also lets you protect the messages when they are at rest, when they are just sitting on the queue. And then, uh, you know, if you want to talk to the devices, the sensors, we have MQ telemetry. There is MQ HTTP bridge, which lets you, lets you connect to the web application. <coughs> and there is um, low latency messaging for, um, you know, applications which need near real-time data. So the latency, especially on, uh, the, you know, it, it kind of works at the network layer, InfiBand and... Uh, Ethernet and provides you extremely fast messaging. And MQ is also available as if there's a hypervisor edition which is available, which lets you host it virtually. So this universal messaging backbone product that we are talking about lets you do all this as a single 